John. I've been a juggalo for almost uh, well, a little over 20 years now. Uh, 34 years old. I'm a uh, merchant marine captain. Uh, I own this house. I own that motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We still do good, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, twisted, blaze, all day, all day, every day. So, <laughs> all right. I'm Eric. Um, about 20, 20 years now. I was about 12 years old, and uh, just never really looked back. I've always been the same uh, person. I didn't really. I don't, know, I don't fit the standard. We all just kind of fell in line behind it. Like I, I didn't even know that many really when I first started out. And like he said, he changed a lot. You know, he, he fell off, and I kind of just stuck with it my whole life. You know, and everybody I've ever known, every girlfriend I've ever had hates my music. You know, except for one. <laughs> so but, you're you're juggalette, Julian? <laughs> Would you like to be on the video? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not a juggalette. I wouldn't classify myself as one. I, but I I agree with John. I think I take away would be the message. Like I think they're very funny. They're they, they it's everything's in humor. So, right, right. but I don't consider myself a juggalette. Like I don't know. Like some of that stuff y'all talking about. I'm like I don't know. I can't contribute because well, I don't know. Like albums or like we've been together for about you know. three years now. And and uh, congrats. She never really, uh, she never really knew. She knew who they were. She, I think the first time she ever said something. No, I was talking my, my, shit about yeah, his hatchet Ray. man on his cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was sitting there talking shit oh, and show, show he like gave me a I lesson. And tell him where you got it. That said, uh, you pick it, we stick it. Mm. It was my very first tattoo the day I turned 18. What about the other one? It's, it's, it's a mixture of uh, prom queen and my kind of bitch, which are both old uh, pre riddle box songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tunnel yeah. of Love. There's this massive divide, I think. And yeah. a, lot of, a lot of it comes with age. You know, like right. a, after a certain point in the fan base, like there was this split. You know. No, let's see. Like, oh, man, when, when did Bizarre Bizarre come out? 2002. So was it? That was like the that was the one I remember the most. Yeah. Of, actually, I was like, I like that. Um, that was yeah, the I did too. He to fucking me. hated it. I fucking hated it. <laughs> no, I have to say, I fucking every time a new album came out, I fucking hated it. And then like, give me like two weeks, I'm be like, this is the best album. <laughs> that's all music, though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, that's music. All shit, yeah. Yeah. Give it, give it a little. Like time. when that, uh, like I think of like some of those. The guys are probably hating on y'all a bunch. The um, I like think to, like to think of those guys are like the newer set. Right. It's like the uh, the rowdy, the young kids, blah blah. blah. But uh, a lot of the older guys and shit like that, like us. I mean, like we were just talking about it. Both when both of us came on, it's been over twenty years. Right. And uh, ninety five, ninety six. Yeah, yeah, about ninety six. Like my the first time I was like I heard it, somebody left a cassette tape in my truck. Right. And I was, and I mean that alone. Okay, cassette tape is. <laughs> 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 no, but, uh, but yeah, man, that the, the the new set and the old set is I think are wildly different. But like I say, if you were to go to like say go to you know the gathering or anything like that, I don't think there would be anything to fucking worry about. Right. You know? Well shit, one of the last things I saw in the gathering just dude was starting shit and the next thing you know, like four or five people jump in to stop him. We did quite have we had a big one for a while. Yeah, yeah, for, right. for a while, man. Me, like, him, back in the day. Our friend Taylor, who's on the yeah, server, he's he moved to Alaska. Alaska, and then my friend Josh, who's, who's still down, but he lives way down in Texas City, he couldn't make it tonight, and then I, we got our friend Big Jason, he's this, yeah. you know, like, taller than you, right. four, almost 400 <laughs> pounds, dude. <laughs> I don't know if he's four, I don't know, he might be four, <laughs> he's pretty fucking big, but yeah, he's, but like, I've been to concerts with him, and he's intimidating. That, that dude, <laughs> that dude is one of my fucking best friends, uh, Jason Fork, and uh, how we met him was through oh, yeah. Juggalo, uh, like, he had a hatch man on the back of his car, and I was living in this apartment complex down the road, and, uh... About 10 years ago? Yeah, like 12 maybe 10, years ago. 10, 12 years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, he saw him, he kind of just hung out around Eric's car until Eric got to his car and be like, <laughs> Hey, what's up? Oh, he, he's down? Yeah, he, yeah. I heard, what up, Ninja? Like, I turned around, like, what up? <laughs> he's like, you want to smoke a blunt? 
like, man, I'm on probation. Fucking <laughs> 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 like, like a couple days later, man, me and him were hanging out. He's like, hey, I met this dude, blah, blah. He lives like, you know, building over or whatever. And I was like, you're fucking drunk as shit. I'm like, let's go over to this fucking house, say what's up. And we're like, all right, this is a little weird, but fuck it, we're drunk. And we go knock on his door and nobody answered. And we just start. Magic, magic, ninja, what? Magic, magic, ninja, what? <laughs> Until somebody answered the door. I think his wife was like, it's for you. <laughs> I, I met people from the subreddit. You know, I've only been, I've been on the subreddit at R-Juggalo for two or three years now, but they made me a moderator like six months ago, and I've already met one one of the moderators. Like, one of them was down on his luck. I sent him an old laptop I had. You right. know, like, one of them's like a 16-year-old kid. He's like, still in high school. He... He messages us on Skype asking for, for advice and stuff like that. You know, right. you know, we give it to him. It's like we're all just already done. You know? Play that like big brother role. Kind of. Somebody yeah. Yeah, yeah. understands. Uh, my boys were in a band when I was in high school, and they were like, "Hey man, why don't you? We can fucking play chicken hunting. Why don't, why don't oh, you and my boy God. Taylor uh, fucking do it for us at a show?" And that was the weirdest fucking thing, dude. Uh, they, we uh, were playing like in a fucking garage with like I don't know, probably forty. 40 or 50 kids, and uh, that was like a, my first little taste of like performing. Hell yeah. But it was fun, dude. Fucking cranking out the fucking metal super hard. I think the fucking guitarist was like dressed like the dude the the dude from Limp Biscuit, and then oh, God. the drummers in pajamas. <laughs> it was just fucking rid ridiculous shit. You know? It was fucking, it was fun, man. It was just a bunch of fucking dorks and nerds, and uh, we got to be like the king of the nerds for like a second. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, this is awesome, man. Because it really blew up, man. Like, I, I became a fan of it, and then all of a sudden it was popular to be a fan of it. Yeah, like, right. Yeah, like, there was a, for a hot minute, yeah. Yeah, at least a year or two. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, All of a sudden there's like was 40 open to school wearing shirts. It was Malenko you know? days. And, yeah. That's what my buddy said. It's when Malenko came yeah, out, like, and there was a big surge. And everybody stuff. loved it for a minute. And I'm like, oh, Malenko's the fucking best album. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it is. It's a good album. And uh, it's the best album. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. I think there's a lot better albums. Right. But uh, man, it's well produced. They had some fucking money then. Mikey so. Clark's a genius. ICP is one of the only people that can really control their crowd. Like, because all the openers and shit, people are throwing shit at them. But like, as soon as ICP gets on stage, ICP's throwing shit at them. Right. Because like, they, they bust out the Fago and. Like, I've never left an ICP concert where I didn't. Yeah, try. I, I didn't need a towel. You need a towel. Bring yeah. a fucking towel. <laughs>
shit, at least once every couple of weeks. And, uh, and shit, that was 20 years ago. Right. You know, so it's being as weird as that was and, and, and so outside that that felt comfortable. And um, shit, I mean, I mean, it's still that way. You know? Right. So, like, it, it's definitely a place for, for people who are so far outside um, to feel just fucking a, a, a moderate amount of comfort. And uh, and find some people that they can connect with and have some some interactions with that aren't like putting up a front and shit where you can just kind of be yourself for like even if it's like a half a second if you can be yourself for half a second it's like that's waiting gold I mean so like I said I was like 12 years old my cousin introduced me to it it, it was hilarious from day one right you know, I just could not get enough of it and I think the first thing I ever heard was a skit about. Uh, you just press it it's against dead people because he had a, he had a dead girlfriend. <laughs> I like, love just, that just you, She's fresher than us, you know. Like, but I just I could not stop laughing. I almost pissed myself. And then from that point on, my mom hated it. Everybody hated it. I got made fun of at school for it. But I met people like him and my friend Jeremy, and we just we just stuck together. Yeah, yeah we're, we're fucking everywhere too, man. I, I lived in South Korea for like a year and a really? half. Really? Yeah, I'm walking through a bar. I'm walking like in this bar district called Itaewon, and I'm just walking down and these two. Two or three Asian people, you know, Korean, one guy, and two girls, they were like, whoop, whoop, because I was wearing a hatchet man shirt. I'm like, really? Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, all, all we, start, we start talking, next thing I know, we're doing shots of sake in the bar. Mm -hmm. you know, like. Yeah, but also, <laughs> let's get some context. The rest of the bar thought you were Paul Wall. They did. <laughs> <laughs> they, somebody said, one of the military guys, like, oh, he's Paul Wall. They're like, oh, Paul Wall. <laughs> <laughs> The track 13s are on all their serious albums. Twisted does them, ICP does them. Um, like what's a good example? I mean, like. No, ABK, ABK's got some great track 13s. Yeah, I, I'm pulling blanks on song names right now, but like The Great Malenko is a perfect example because it's so mainstream. Yeah, pass you me like by. Pass Me By, you know, which is about. I had to you're, you're, track that, I used to, I had like two or three friends die in the course of like two years, and that song really helped me out, you know. Right. Like you can go and have a good cry over it, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, even, uh, even, uh, even though I'm not religious, you know, I got the message from the song, you know, and it was comforting. Uh, we also... On Fatso, Tear, Tear Joker. Yeah. Is, he's talking like about his dad ball, dying. That song would be fucking ball every fucking time, dude. I've heard about this too just in the past couple of days about like going to shows and actually you see like Juggalo's like... Like where there's songs that like speak to them, like, exactly. Like yeah. every song, a different song can speak to somebody a different way. And there's guys like just like almost at tears or in tears. I, I because would, I mean, you, you, I you're never gonna see. And because they're there, you know, they're there with family and stuff. That's got to make it so much bigger too. Yeah. Like, being at the show with the uh, guys that have said it. I mean, it was powerful. And people just I turn around and give you a hug too. They see you too, but you know, yeah. they won't make fun of you for it. But I mean, they. I mean, that that's one of the really cool things. Like they get it. I mean, they get uh, this being a fun, silly fucking thing, but you hit those certain those certain tracks that really like fucking hit you hard. People don't just joke about us though. Like we're classified as a gang by the FBI. Mm -hmm. now. Like if I were to get arrested tomorrow for a fucking dime bag of weed, yeah, he's got tattoos. On instead of getting a week, I get a month. Because I'm a gang, I have gang affiliation now. Right. You know, it's like it, it, I'm just a normal person that just likes some kind of music, and then all of a sudden now they're fighting these lawsuits. Like people take time out of their day. They don't just dislike ICP. Like I don't right. like I don't like Justin Bieber, but I don't I don't take time out of my day to, to prosecute. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Really, the whole purpose that uh, I wanted to impress upon you for coming over tonight was to let you know that there is a, a level to all this. There's multiple levels to all this. That even if you fall off years later, even if you don't represent every fucking day, you don't wear the fucking gear, you don't wear the fucking chain, you don't run around saying whoop whoop, you know, and there's still a family base, man. I mean, like, you, the, the friends that you make out of this are legit family i mean there, there's no other way to say that your family and 
those, those, those cats will never let you down. But they're laying out this message for you and you can take what it, you can take from it what you want. So you can be like, man, this is a, this is a good album. Man, that was fun. And then blow it off. Or you can look a little bit deeper into it and be like, these were the songs that I listened to at my worst times that like helped me out. And not only that, but I've got people that listen to the same songs that it did the same for them, and then we can kind of connect on that same level. Got that when I was 18, so 32, so that was uh, 20, yeah. 18, 18 years ago. <laughs> Oh, guys. Man, it was great. Uh.